I am the spokeswoman and Maryland Outreach Manager of the Council on American Islamic Relations. We are the nation's largest Muslim civil rights and advocacy organization. I am joined today by representatives from the ACLU of Maryland, from Jewish Voice for Peace DC, and from the Interfaith Action for Human Rights. This press conference was organized by our coalition to call on the Board of County Commissioners of Carroll County to repudiate and reject County Commissioner Richard Rothschild's Islamophobic rhetoric published in a scathing editorial earlier this week in the Carroll County Times. I have with me a copy of our letter that we have hand delivered to the County Commissioners. County Commissioners take an oath and are sworn to uphold their duties and act without partiality or prejudice. It is unethical and unconstitutional that a public official of his stature, who was elected to serve his constituents equally and fairly, would use religion as a basis to discriminate against or unfairly target any Americans. Mr. Rothschild is entitled to his opinion, and we deeply uphold and respect the First Amendment. But he also has the responsibility to conduct himself in a manner that does not marginalize a segment of the American population that has already been subjected to unfair attacks. Similar shameful rhetoric in the public sphere has already contributed significantly to rising hostility towards Muslims in America. This intolerance has manifested as hate crimes, as bullying towards school-age children, as bias attacks, discrimination, and other serious threats. Mr. Rothschild's inflammatory editorial risks fanning the flames of intolerance and further jeopardizing the safety and well-being of Muslims who reside in this county and across the state. Islam as it relates to our constitution, Sharia law, and the liberation or oppression of women is egregiously distorted in his commentary, and I urge you to also encourage him to engage in dialogue with us so that we can help dispel some of his misconceptions. This sort of divisive rhetoric undermines the trust placed in public servants, like Mr. Rothschild. It has no place in this county, it has no place in our state, and it has no place in our country. Therefore, to uphold our nation's values of religious freedom and tolerance, and to preserve the dignity of the Office of County Commissioners, I urge the board to immediately repudiate his comments. Thank you. Next, I would like to call Rabbi Charles Feinberg from the Interfaith Action for Human Rights to share his thoughts. Thank you, Zainab. Uh, the Hebrew Bible begins with the statement that every human being is created in the image of God. I believe that's the foundation of our faith and the foundations of the major Abrahamic religions. That belief means that we do not generalize on the basis of the actions of one person or a group of people uh, to the whole, the whole generality of that, that, the community that person belongs to. If a Christian murders someone, we don't necessarily indict Christianity uh, for inspiring that, that murder. If a Jew murders an Arab, which has happened recently, that doesn't mean that Judaism is indicted as responsible for that murder. And the same applies in the case of Islam. There are Muslims who murder other innocent people, but that doesn't mean that Islam is responsible for it. We, we live in a multi-religious and multicultural society. We, many of us belong to different religious communities. And in each of our religious communities, there are bad actors. There are people who do bad things, who are overcome by rage because of something that happened in their life or what they have seen on television. We understand possibly that rage is, is based on, on something that's real that happened and that's a re that could be a response. But the rage should not lead to generalizing about a whole group of people. In our society, the Muslim community is on the whole a peaceful, law-abiding community. We have Muslims who serve in Congress, who take an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. Every public official in our congregation, in our, in our society, takes an oath to uphold the Constitution. And they belong to a variety of religious faiths or no faith at all. 
We need to respect individuals and individual communities. We need to hold a combinal, those people who break the law and those who do violent acts and destroy other lives. But that doesn't mean that the whole community is responsible for that violent act. I believe strongly with my heart and soul that we judge a person on the basis of what a person does and not necessarily on the community that that person belongs to. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Feinberg. Next, I would like to call Seth Morrison from the Jewish Voice for Peace, DC, please. Thank you. Jewish Voice for Peace is the only major Jewish organization in the United States that has a network against Islamophobia. And we have set up that network for the same reason that we're here today, that there are so many misguided thoughts and misunderstandings about Muslim people that we need to change and we need to fix. Now, I drove up here today and I'm seeing this beautiful scenery. I'm seeing all the fall foliage. Before I left my house, I looked at the Carroll County website. It says, Carroll County, a great place to live, a great place to work, a great place to play. And as I read that, I said, how does that fit with the worst kind of racism, with the worst kind of bigotry, with the same kind of negative feelings that affected my ancestors when they came to the US and in Europe and in the Holocaust? In America, we're a melting pot. We're a country where our constitution guarantees freedom of religion and freedom of opinion. And then I see this, this editorial, but I see that it is not written by an individual in his own name. It is signed as a county commissioner. Now I know intellectually that any one commissioner does not have the right to speak for the whole county. And I sincerely hope and pray that this man does not speak for the whole county. But he is using his office to perpetuate bigotry, to perpetuate racism. And to me, that is something that this county, its officials, and its citizens must address. Thank you. Thank you, Seth. I would have, finally, I would like to call Meredith Curtis from the ACLU of Maryland to please share her thoughts. Good afternoon. Uh, we are proud to stand here today with our allies to say that religious affiliation should never preclude someone from serving in public office. There's a question of personal opinion. And then there is a question of elected leaders limiting or trying to indicate that there should be some limit on who should be an elected official based on their religious affiliation. Every person in America has the right to practice their religion or no religion and our Constitution abhors the idea of a religious test for public office. Time and again in American history, this type of rhetoric has been used to exclude people from full citizenship in America. This rhetoric is very dangerous because it encourages hate, stereotyping, and constitutional violations. That's why we are here today to support the idea that the Carroll County Commissioners repudiate a public official attempting to say that other public officials should be limited based on their religious affiliation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Meredith. That will conclude our press conference. We will be available for individual interviews and comments. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh.